What's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon. It is the Earthmaster back here on this Tuesday. Um, yeah, Tuesday, September 26, 2023, about 11.43 a.m. here, California time. Latest activity looks like a 1.6 into the Northern California region. Did see some activity ramping up here south of the California region earlier today. We'll check out this uh, activity here in just a minute. But we did have somewhat of a surprise uh, geomagnetic disturbance last night. Peaked up into the uh, about the G2 category here. Sparking some auroras down across the northern tier states. Uh, they had forecasted a G1 class storm in the previous night, so I'm thinking this may be just a, a late arrival of that expected CME, or forecasted CME, so to speak. But uh, either way, that BZ component of the interplanetary magnetic field had been pointed uh, south, which allowed the uh, solar wind stream to flow in easier, creating the storming conditions up there across the uh, higher latitudes. So that has since calmed down, though, a little bit... Uh, calmer as we speak but uh, did peak up there into uh, about the g2 class storm level all right far as the flaring activity goes over the last 24 hours or so seen a couple sea flares got these horns up here uh, let's see what we got far as the complex structure within the sunspots and unfortunately this region right here is uh, definitely looking like it is decaying and fading away i don't know if there's any hope left for this it was looking pretty promising here a couple days ago uh this one as well looks as though it may be um slowly fading away uh so far as sunspots go that uh, may harbor some potential for some flaring right now goodness looks like we're dropping down pretty uh drastically potentially maybe around this area and uh, we'll have to see how these newer sunspots look once we get a better view upon them. For now, though, uh, we'll just continue to watch things. 99% chance for a sea flare. These are uh, older uh, threat levels. I think these are dropped probably a little bit or should be dropped. Uh, M flare at about 40% chance. X flare around 15% chance. Again, that's an older based on uh, sunspots there from the previous days. So, yeah, we'll continue to see how this plays out. Um, for this uh this coming week watch these newer sunspots here coming around the bend we'll see what they uh see what they want to do all right uh, a little bit of activity stirring up here into the northern california area 3.4 coming into the willow creek area just about it looks like about eight minutes or so ago um this is going to be that earthquake right here showing up on the petrolia station pretty nice little signature flatline that uh, seismograph station pretty much uh the petroleum station sits around in this region so that's why it's a very uh, well distinct signature on that graph 28 kilometers deep that is associated with the cascadia subduction zone underneath this area uh, so continue to watch that one of these days the big one will no doubt strike out here whether it's going to be uh, coinciding with the san andreas fault uh, we'll have to see how it goes, right? Because I wasn't here back in 1700 when that last one struck out here along the Cascadia. It's been a while. 323 years of built-up strain. Uh, the rest of the Pacific Northwest, relatively quiet. California, uh, Southern California, handful of smaller quakes out here in your typical zones, the San Jacinto Fault Zone, and just off the San Andreas Fault here, showing a handful of smaller microquakes. Uh, there's some activity out there off the coast of Mexico, 5.4, out into uh, a little fracture zone out here in the oceanic crust. Looks as though there's a little bit further activity here that USGS is not picking up there. I see a 5.3 coming in uh, to the southern Mexico area, but again, USGS not picking up on that yet. Looks like activity, though, somewhat heightened out here across the eastern Pacific and potentially the adjacent plates that uh, resides here within this area. Far as the western Pacific over here and adjacent plates, a Filipino plate, somewhat active today with some fours around that area. Let's see what we got here across this region now. Yeah, I don't know if the EMSC is, I think that's a false magnitude earthquake there that 5.0 but further up to the north 
that may be legit. So we're going to jump into the EMSC model globe or data and check it out here real quick. Uh, it didn't, looks like we did see some, a little bit larger activity up here in Poland. 4.5 coming in earlier uh, today. They have been seeing a little bit of movement up here across the Poland area in uh, the past week or so. Let's see what we got. There was one just to the east of today's four-pointer, 3.7, back on the 19th. So somewhat elevated activity out here. Uh, looking at some movement over here around Spain. Let's see, I know that's a little bit uh, bigger than a 2.7. Let's see what they got. Not that one, I want the other one. I'm still not, uh, there we go, 4.1. Not a huge fan of this new design. So 4.1 Spain area, that would be uh, the earthquake that looks like it's striking up here. But they're showing a 5.0, but again, this is from the EMSC, I believe. USGS is really not showing uh, too much activity over there around the Spain area. They did report this Poland earthquake, 4.5. So either way, it looks like somewhat uh, active conditions out here across this region today. The Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet. Uh, so I, um, I don't think there's any activity out there, as far as I can tell. All right, uh, let's see what else we got. Nothing on the top of the globe, nothing on the bottom. That just means that uh, there's no activity. <laughs> There's a little bit of movement here across the Guam area at 5.1. I think that came in yesterday. Uh, USGS reporting that as a 4.8 just after midnight. So getting about the 12 hour mark or so far as the age goes. Uh, let's see here. Down here across the Tonga area, 5.2 and a 4.3, the latest. So it's going to be this uh, 5.2, pretty deep, 533 kilometers deep into that subduction zone of the Tonga area. So we'll continue to watch things, see how they uh, progress today. Hawaii is pretty quiet, not a whole lot of movement out here across Pahala, Kilauea Volcano. I don't think we've seen any major changes there since the eruption came to a halt a few days ago. Daily updates still from the 19th, or the weekly updates still from the 19th. So they should put out, uh, potentially put out a uh, update here soon. But again, there's really hasn't been any more major change there in terms of the uh, volcano at the uh, Big Island. All right, current convective outlook. It's going to show where the uh, severe weather potential sits today. Marginal risk in the dark green. Don't see anything major set up. 2% chance of tornado probability up there across Illinois. Uh, looks like the other main threat may be some, a little bit of wind and uh, some hail. But overall, nothing major set up here for today across the states. And next couple days look uh, fairly minimal, to say the least, there when it comes to severe weather. Uh, numerical models out here, still seeing some rain up into the Pacific Northwest. We really didn't get much out here in Northern California where I'm at. Along the coastline, yes, they had quite a bit of rainfall up here across the um the north coast there of northern california oregon and washington but specifically in my neck of the woods it uh was just a few sprinkles and it was pretty nice but that was about it that was due to a low pressure system off here off the uh pacific northwest that's just gonna hang out and uh, keep us cooler it looks like it will deepen a little bit here as we head into the weekend with uh, maybe some potential shower uh chances and again much cooler conditions i'm absolutely loving it about 75 degrees out right now in the backyard. Looking at my weather station data here. So almost a perfect day. High pressure building up over here across the northeast and into Canada. Just wants to sit up there and cook for a little while. And uh, after that, well, getting into the middle of the October range. We'll have to keep an eye on that because sometimes this far out into the future, the models are not that accurate. But... Uh, at least for the next week or so, I think we got uh, some cooler conditions out here in California to deal with, and that uh, kind of makes me happy. So I'm, I'm I'm good with that. Forgot to check Yellowstone. Doesn't look like there's too much activity stirring up out here 
across the Yellowstone area. All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. Got quite a bit of school stuff I got to do today and a bunch of lectures. So I'm going to get busy on that. We'll catch you guys back here a little bit later on this evening. Take care. Enjoy your Tuesday. <laughs>